Question number seven. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome back. Last year, I uploaded a video called the Truth or Dare Makeup Challenge. And in that video, I wanted to sort of spin Truth or Dare to a makeup challenge. <clears throat> Some and in that challenge, what I did was ask you guys for questions where you think I would never, ever, ever want to answer them in my life. Now, these questions could be asked on Slido.com and people could vote them up or down. And during all of this, people are starting to vote, people are starting to add new questions. And in the end, there are 15 very juicy, very tea-worthy questions that I have to maybe answer. If I answer the question, I get to use my favorite makeup product. If I decide to keep my mouth shut, I have to use a product that I totally do not like. I filmed the video a long time ago and things have changed and new questions have risen to the top. So today I am doing the Truth or Dare Makeup Challenge Volume 2 because it's time for some new tea. Let's get ready. <laughs> it is time for some truth tea. So my makeup routine has been cut into 15 steps for these 15 questions. And let's see which 15 crazy questions have gotten to the top. The first step in my routine, as always, is to prime, because not to prime is a crime. Although today, judging by the first question, we might commit a crime, okay? <laughs> The first question, which means that this is also the question that got the most votes, is by Thomas Corrigan. Thomas said, do you regret going on Ellen? And what did she do to you to make you regret it? Spill the tea. <laughs> okay. This is the last time in my life I will speak about this matter. At the end of the day, one thing I will always be grateful and most of all thankful for is that Ellen and her production company gave me such a platform to tell my story. And that I will never take for granted. Ellen supporting the community and welcoming me into the community is something I will forever, forever be grateful for. That is the last thing I'm gonna say about this matter. What's been done has been done. The past is the past, the future is the future. And this also, well, this kind of gives you an answer, but I feel like people watching this at home are gonna be like, that is such a half ass answer. You're gonna have to use a primer that you don't like. So we're gonna have to use a primer that I don't like. <laughs> a primer that is super, super pricey and totally not worth your money is this. This right here is by Sisley. It is called the Instant Glow Primer. This literally adds a glow to the face, period. Mila chokes on the shine right now. Are you okay, baby? I've had this for a long time and literally every time I use it, I'm like, that just washed away money and I'm not even getting results. I mean, there's drugstore primers that do so much more for you as opposed to the, like, oh, how nice, a glow. Time for question number two. And question number two is gonna determine if I get to use my Holy Grail color corrector or not. Question number two, how did Dylan's friends and family accept your coming out video and did that affect them? If you know me a little bit, you know that I'm pretty much a really private person. I am very in control of what I wanna share with you through my stories, through my YouTube, like through my own ways of telling you. And I often get questions like from the media too, like about my personal life. And when I say, I don't wanna speak about that, they're like, well, but you post it on your stories. And I just wanna make one thing very clear. If I post something on my stories or on Twitter or here to tell you, it is coming from me. So it is my decision to tell you in my own words and to bring it in a safe place because what we have is a safe place. With this question, I just wanna say that I cannot speak for other people. I can only speak for myself. And I don't want to put words in other people's mouths. What I will say is that Dylan's friends and family have been so incredibly supportive, period. That's all I'm going to share. I feel like you should know that we're good. I feel supported. I feel loved. And that's all that matters. So again, that's like half an answer. So do I color correct or not? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was an answer. All right, so the color corrector that I am so highly obsessed with 
is by Charlotte Tilbury. These are called the, I believe, just color correctors. This is the color one fair, and this is the color two medium. And what I do is mix the two together, and that is like the perfect brightening color for my dark circles and like on the corners of my mouth, like right here. And I just dab it on with my ring finger, and oh my God, blue be gone. So I kind of do like this, like a little shimmy shimmy in between the two, and I start tapping the darkest area underneath my eye and keep it concentrated just there. I'm not like blending it all the way out. And I love this consistency because you don't have to set it with powder, weirdly enough. It self sets and it just, you see that difference already? Time for the third question and the third question will determine if, a, yeah. <clears throat> Time for the third question, and the third question will determine if I get to use my favorite foundation at the moment, or this. I have given the MAC Studio Fix Fluid opportunity after opportunity. It's not the foundation for me. I don't find it sitting nicely on the skin. Coming from me, I think it's a little bit too much. Like, it feels uncomfortable on the skin. It feels like you're wearing a whole lot of makeup. And even with the full coverage junkiness that I am, I don't feel like that with my usual routine. So, let's see. Question number three. Do you want to have children? Ah, we've gotten to that question, huh? For the longest time, I have said everywhere that I didn't want to have children. Uh, for multiple reasons. I think the world that we live in right now is so scary. I would be the one to know. I feel like opinions and what's being said online can be very harmful to a child. And for the longest time, I was like, I don't know if, if a child should go through that. And of course, I cannot have children myself. And it's so weird to say that out loud. Um, but once I met Dylan, and he completely changed my life and made me love myself as well. Um, the only person I would wanna have children with in my life is Dylan. And we've spoken about it and um, I'm getting emotional from this. Um, we've spoken about it and we would love to explore options. Um, and um, not for now, not for now, not for the near future, but maybe in the future, um, we both are ready, but the wish uh, is there. Which means Mac can lick my asshole, goodbye. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm using this one by YSL. This is the All Hours Foundation. You know, every day I wake up hoping that my forehead will be a little bit smaller, and you would imagine the disappointment every time I look in the mirror and it's like, no, it's still huge. All right, next question is for concealer. Question number four. Will you make videos about your wedding, like picking out your wedding dress? Yes, this is something I had uh, planned this year. Until Mrs. Rowan, I came looking around the corner. I planned on filming multiple videos. Like I wanted to do like a, a three part series, maybe four part series where I had all the preparations filmed and then parts, because I'm a private person, parts of the actual wedding. But guess what? That's gonna have to get postponed, huh? So until the time is right, uh, that will definitely be something you'll be seeing on my channel. All right, next question is for powder, and I wanna do this really quickly before I crease. And that question is, can you tell us your experience with gender reassignment surgery? There is a place and time for a lot of subjects. I, I'm not ready to talk about that just yet. Once, again, just like the wedding, once the time is right, I know I can speak freely and openly about it, but that time is not right now. I mean, I think you guys all understand when I say that it feels a little bit too fresh to really be talking about that. I feel like me talking about it will help a lot of people out there who are going through the same or are lining up to get ready for the big um, surgery. So again, never say never, but for now, I feel like I still have a lot of growing to do personally. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, because I didn't quite literally answer the question, so I went ahead and used a product that I don't like for powder. This is gonna come as a shock because I used to use this for years, 
NARS Loose Setting Powder, Soft Velvet Loose Powder in the color Snow. This used to be my jam until I found better other powders that did way more for my complexion. It just doesn't really blend into the skin nicely. It's not really like becoming one with everything, but I am using this puff and pounding my face until it is blended in because I have to be honest, so far so good. The truth will set my makeup free and on point. Question number six will determine what happens for the brows. What was your reaction when Jeffree Star mentioned in Shane Dawson's beauty series how much you were paid from Too Faced Cosmetics? First of all, it was a surprise because I was like, oh, I didn't, I, I didn't know I was gonna be a part of, of the series. What I thought was beautiful to see was that it was a situation where gurus sort of supported each other and got each other's backs. There's so much backstabbing, so much drama in this beauty community. To me, it was like such a beautiful moment to see the community not tearing each other down, but lifting each other up. And it also inspired me to speak up for myself more in the future. Um, that whole situation, of course, has been handled. And uh, right now people literally know all the details. <laughs> and it definitely lit a fire under my ass to speak up more, say the truth more, and defend myself a bit more. Because you know what, I'm a human being and I deserve my voice. Uh, so for brows, I just get to do my normal brows now, yay! <laughs> I am taking the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in taupe. And I love this because it's like a flat edge and it's so easy to sort of like place your brow stripes with this. So I'm gonna brush all my hairs up, AKA the three hairs that I do have on my brows. And I'm just gonna place two lines, fill it in, detailed hairs and call it a day. See, so I placed two lines, then I place two at the top, fill in, add some brow hairs and gel and done. I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want you guys to get bored. <sighs> Brows are done. And now it is time to move on to primer. You know how important eye primer is to me. Question number seven. <laughs> when was your first sexual experience and how was it? <laughs> I do not want to talk about this. But then again, eye primer. Oh my God, am I about to just risk it all? For primer? Oops. When was your first sexual experience and how was it? Go <laughs> 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 for you. Normally I would use my P. Louise base to now prime. I will just use whatever is left in my foundation sponge to tap that onto the lid and then use that as a primer. I mean, cause look at my eyes already. That creasage is from that same foundation. So this is not gonna really help me at all, but it's something. The next question is for eyeshadow. And if I don't answer the question for the eyeshadow, I have to go in with this. These are MAC eyeshadows that I depotted and put in a pro palette. This was my greens palette. And I also have this one, which is like all grays, blacks, and blue tones. But these are just colors that, I mean, if you know me just the tiniest bit, you know that I would never gravitate towards these colors. They just don't ring a bell. Are you still in contact with your father? Yes. I, oh my God, thank God I get to answer that. Bye, Mac. Goodbye. Goodbye. I am still in contact with my father. Um, ever since being a little kid, I will say that my connection to my mom has just been so magical. And just like my mom and I are like, I mean, you know, mama tutorials. My mom and I are, I'm still very much so in contact with him. We text every now and then, we call every now and then. With some people, you really, have that connection and talk to on a daily. And with some, it's just a little less, um, but he's still my father. He still also supported me when I was younger. And he is so incredibly proud of what I do nowadays in my career and what I've achieved. Oh, I should have I come. So I don't exactly know what I wanna do for my eyes. All I know is that I wanna use these little mini palettes by Juvia's Place. They are um, super small, super tiny and cute, but they have like beautiful colors in them. This right here, if you look at the clothes, if you look at the vibe, this is a vibe. Ooh, what if I do like a simpler, like 
cutesy, glammy, and then a lip. All right, so I'm gonna use these, as you know, with Juvia's Place. Uh, they already are super, super affordable palettes, uh, but I have a discount code with them. So if you use code Nikki at checkout, you will save a little bit of money. And uh, yeah, I am taking these two colors here and I'm just gonna douse them into the crease and build a little bit of definition on this very unprimed foundation eye. But like I said, I want a little bit of a softer eye and a bolder lip. So in the chocolates by Juvia's, there's this color. So I'm taking that and that is going here on that inner portion. Ooh, see what it's doing? Here on that inner portion of the crease. Really blending it in. On the lid, I would love a moment of this and this combined. And with this, I kind of push it up into my crease to create some height with these very hooded lids. Kind of optically change the shape of my eye softly. And to kind of go off of that flirty, softer look, I am taking a brown eyeliner um, to add a flirty, small, cutesy wing. Notice how I'm leaving a little gap open right here. I saw one of my favorite makeup artists, Erin Parsons, do this on Instagram, and I just wanna give it a go for myself. It's like a negative space eyeliner type of moment. And of course, you know me, I always want a little bit of that lower lash line smoke going on. All right, I'm gonna fine tune this a little bit more off camera and also do the other eye. I'm probably adding a little bit of a, a wing to the inner corner also, so I'll be right back. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say it? Why do I always tell myself I wanna go for a soft eye look and then bam, the eyeliner whips at it. I'm like, okay, we're becoming a cat today because I'm so tired. I am loving this Erin Parsons inspired liner. I am living for it. But one thing that truly completes this is a good lash. So I hope the question isn't too bad. Is there any YouTube friendship you wish you could come back to? Like squash the beef and be good again. As far as I know, I don't have beef with anyone. I have, on my part, no beef with anyone. Now, if someone has a problem with me, however, that ain't my concern, okay? I can change anything about that. I live my life, I live my life freely. So if anyone has beef with me, that is their problem. I'm putting mascara on. <laughs> Question number 10 is gonna determine if I get to wear any lashes or not. And if I don't answer the question, this awaits me. God, the wispies just truly are not my gig. Like, with a lot of lashes, there's ways for me to make them work. Wispies by Ardell, for me, are like, what's the point? What would you do at the moment if YouTube hadn't worked out? Oh my God, I can answer this. I would prob, why am I opening the wispies? Ew, get away from me. If I wasn't on YouTube, I think my life would have been all about digital, um, digital illustration. I love Photoshop, I love, uh, building websites, getting all techy with it. Um, so probably something with like building websites and um, getting all creative with like the codes because that is what I used to do before I did YouTube. Like a, a, a web engineer. The end line is in sight and now let's see what's happening for bronzer. Question number 11. Can you name three famous people that you never want to see again in your life? <laughs> God dang it, how am I supposed to do this look without bronzer? There's just, there, there's no way. There, <laughs> there's no way I can answer that. Guess I'm not gonna look tan today. Question number 12 is for blush, and the question goes as follow. You recently mentioned online something about being a CEO slash having your own business. Did plans change over time, and do you want to create your own brand? I'm really not about to have a bronzerless face and a blushless face. I mean, to be quite honest, I've always been a CEO. I am the CEO of what we're doing here today, my YouTube channel and all the deals that come with that and all the things that come with that. So I'm a CEO in that 
lane. The question is, do I want to create more lanes to be a CEO of? And for that, I, I honestly don't have an answer for you. So the blush I wanted to use was this right here. This is by Holly Boone Cosmetics, Dare to be Different, the blush in the color Self Made. A color of the same company is a stunning color, just not necessarily for me. This is the color Feeling Peachy. This is just a lot on me. I mean, what the hell? Okay, we can do like a little bit of a color that is totally not meant for my face. Oh. Very lightly, Nikki, very lightly. Ah! Just a little bit on that apple and pulling up. Oh my God, this color is so, this color is so dangerous because it can look stunning one second and then you keep applying pressure to that brush and it's like, oh my God, Clown City is here. See, I did too much. See, I did too much. Mm. Highlighter is question number 13. Will you have a makeup artist doing your makeup on your wedding day or will you do it by yourself? Oh, we get to wear highlighter. You know, I actually think it's funny how many people are asking me this because to me it was almost like a really easy answer um, because yeah, I am going to be doing my own makeup for my wedding day. I feel like I I always do my own makeup for everything, for shows, for TV stuff, for uh, red carpet stuff. Like every time you see me, I did my own makeup. And um, so I was like, of course, I'm going to be doing my own makeup for like one of the most important days of my life. But still, a lot of people weren't certain. So I am here to tell you that Yes, I'll be doing my own makeup, um, but I'm really excited about that. So yeah, final stretch. The second to last question is for lipstick. Now I of course wanna do quite a bold lip, so let's see if I'm allowed to. Can we get a video? Half of your face does your mom and other half does Dylan. Please, Nikki. Not necessarily a juicy question. Absolutely, I've been thinking about doing that for a long time now. And if you've been following me, you know that Mama Tutorials recently got really sick. They never tested her, but they think it was the virus. Um, but I'm glad to announce that she's all better and she's feeling great. So maybe I can plan this soon. And I also get to wear a bold lip. Let me find one. Ooh, what am I in the mood for? Red, here I come. This is by Il Maquillage, the Carly Bible lipstick in the color Venus. Oh, stunning red. Ooh, it kind of becomes a little bit pink. I'm not mad. All right, the final question for setting spray. Whew, got any beef with any YouTubers at the moment? Well, I mean, no, but yes, but no, but also yes. I mean, it kind of touches on what I mentioned earlier is that I have no beef with anyone coming from my part, but I know that there are people that have beef coming from their part. I mean, that is up to them. And at the end of the day, I don't really care. I don't, I truly don't care. I'm living my life freely, openly and lovingly, and I ain't got no time for all that negativity. So if anyone has a problem with me, that congratulations, get in line. Um, and for whoever is cool with me, yes. I'm not answering that question completely though, because I'm not giving you any names. So that means I have to go in with a setting spray that I don't like. And one I don't like is this. This is MAC Fix Plus Gold Light. This stunning, like the color, it has this like gold sheen, stunning. The mister on it, however. Hello? Hello? Why aren't you spraying? The hell? What? Like I said, trash. Guess that's no setting spray for me today. For today's Dutch word of the day, thank you so much for commenting on my previous video. Of course, it can only be one word, truth or dare. I know there was a lot of truth in this video because I really wanted to nail this look. So the Dutch word of the day is for truth. Waarheid, waarheid. Sometimes it's difficult to tell the waarheid, but in the end, it's worth it.
<laughs> if you want to get featured in my next video and see your face pop up, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. Surprise me, make it funny. Yeah, that's it from me today, guys. I am so happy with this end result. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what the biggest plot twist, what the biggest shocks were out of this entire video. And uh, maybe we can do another one in a couple of months. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you on the next one.